Quinny Peace, hello my loves, my happy happy birthday. So time for another fragrance scent story time. <laughs> um, I'm having I'm having a moment. So today I'm going to talk about uh, Tower Perfume, as you can probably see in the titles, Lone Star Memories. Um, and as you can see, the sample is completely gone because I have used it all. Um, I am going to read you the actual description on the Santa website because I think it's actually because really, I think it's really cute. And that is what I got when I smelt when I smell it sort of on a piece of paper. That is the kind of emotion that's evoked. It doesn't quite translate that way on my skin, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, and I'll get to the story in a second. Let's get some. I keep. I filmed how many of these, and I still can't get myself organized. The bottle is really cute. I'll insert a picture here. I like how clean, but sort of different it is, and like the blue color and the cool geometric shape. I really like the the shape of the bottle. And it retails for ninety nine pounds, so it's a little bit. It, it's creeping up there in terms of price. Um, the description that it has here on the website that I'll read for you. It says it's the scent of the American prairies, coffee on a campfire, tobacco smoke fresh wood seasoned leather, a perfume of infinite adventure and the blue grass plains of Kentucky. Geranium, carrot seed, and clary sage are a prelude to smoky leather, jasmine, and vetiver, vetiver? Uh, which deepens into rich myrrh, tonka, and sandalwood. And so that's the kind of promises that it makes. And when I smell it, that's the kind of emotion that is evoked. It's almost like a beautiful loneliness. Like I just... Ugh. It, it takes me to this place of like sitting in a beautiful like big open field and just being overwhelmed by that solitude but in a good way like I can smell grass I can smell smokiness it's just but I also feel really alone and I find that really really beautiful that's the way I get it when I smell it on the a little card or piece of paper or whatever and that's the way it it's conveyed when I first um, apply it on myself the perfume though does last a good six hours on me and by hour two or three, it dries down very flat. It's strange because I still get a bit of smokiness. I still get a bit of grass, but all of a sudden it's very dry and it's changed. So it's weird because I sat there and I was like jotting notes to figure out how to like describe it to you guys. And I still get some of the very same notes, but all of a sudden it's very dry and not as intense and like emotion provoking. It's very strange. Um, and I was having lunch with Iram actually all one day I was wearing it. I'll link Iram's uh, channel down below and I'm like I need to smell my wrist because I think I'm going crazy and she smells it and she's describing very similar things that I just told you and then I'm like what would you guess this was and she's like well I'm not really sure. I'm like would you believe me if I told you it's Lone Star? She's like there's no way and so it's so strange how it like goes into that sort of different a different nuance maybe of the same notes. Um, so this is one where I'm actually not sure whether or not I'm going to buy it because the initial notes I got up, get out of it are very beautiful and very powerful, um, but can I justify spending that kind of money if it dries down sort of not as, as beautifully engulfing as the initial notes. So um, I'm going to have to see. This might be one that like I go online and try to find, like if someone has a little decanted version of it, um, it might be a scent that I do that with because I don't know if I can justify getting a whole bottle. Um, if I lose something of the scent sort of a couple hours in. So, yeah, that's my thought on this guy. Um, let me know if you guys have tried it out or anything else from the line and what you think about it. And, yeah, I think we'll, I think that's it. Uh, any questions or whatever, <laughs> please leave them down for me below. By whatever I mean, like, if I've talked too fast and I don't make sense, please let me know. Um, and I will answer any of those questions. I'm gonna do some points of positivity and then I will be done. So my first point of positivity is my sweet friend Anka came to visit and we had a really really beautiful weekend together. Um, I will leave Anka's channel. She has a channel that she does with her best friend Lydia. Um, they're both amazing human beings and we missed Lydia. We missed you this weekend. Um, I'll leave their channel down below. It's a book review um, tag like all things books. So I will leave that channel down below for you guys and sort of hand in hand with that uh, we had a really good, my second point of positivity is we had a really good spaghetti dinner on the first night that just left us all incredibly happy. And then my third point of positivity is the next day we went to the Tate Modern and I haven't been yet since I've been here. So it was fun to get out there and get some culture and just enjoy the new exhibits that were on. Some things were my cup of tea, some weren't, but it was cool to, to be there and, and to catch all that. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for me today. I'm going to send you guys tons of love. Thank you as always for being here. And I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.